A fire caused significant damage to a vacant building in North St. Louis today. That building is just one of thousands left empty in our city. It's a problem leaders are working to fix. And Five on Your Side's Mercedes McKay shows us where the city's vacancy strategy initiative stands. Behind the flashing lights and broken window, there's a deeper problem to the smoke that came from this building on St. Louis Avenue Tuesday morning. No one wants to live next to a vacant building. There are all sorts of risks dangers and problems. St. Louis firefighters seeing those dangers firsthand after flames took over two empty properties, all because someone was trying to stay warm. Vacancy affects everyone, whether it's on your block or just in the region. That's why Tom Nagel with the city's Community Development Administration says there's a huge initiative to tackle this issue and it's only gaining more momentum since the launch of their website where you can find vacant buildings and see who's responsible for it. We want to go further with the data. We want to understand more of those costs to the taxpayer, but also the cost to neighbors. Right now, there are about 22,000 vacant properties across the city of St. Louis, and the city owns about half of them. The city doesn't want to own this property. People in neighborhoods want to live next to neighbors and not vacant buildings. That's why the city launched the Vacancy Strategy Initiative in August working on selling those properties to responsible landowners and holding those non-responsible landowners accountable, all while creating a priority index for how to use city funds. Some buildings really need to just come down yesterday. Some buildings are beautiful and have great bones. While upgrading the vacancy website and crafting new policies and legislation is also in the works, city leaders want to preserve the best of St. Louis. This is a huge opportunity for the city residents and institutions to work together. Mercedes McKay, five on your side. Right now, the city of St. Louis is also using funds from the American Rescue Plan Act to help stabilize these vacant buildings.